One out, bases loaded. Gonzalez at third, Arthur second, Jackson at first. The hitter is Andrew Colazzo. Canable's pitch is lined to center field. That should score a runner. It's going to score more than that. It goes over the head of Montalbano. It will unload the bases. The question is, will Colazzo come all the way? He's at third. He told him to stop, and he did. But the three-run score, and the Yankees lead it three to nothing. Wow. Colazzo is running right up Kenny Jackson's back. He was thinking inside the park home run. They had to put the stop sign on him at third base. You look at Colazzo over there. He wanted to get inside the park home run. Go in there saying, hey, we know we could beat this club. Fly ball, left field, going back for it is Arthur. He's on the track, it's all over. Put this one in the books. It belongs to Texas A&M. They win one of three and they share the title of the Big 12 regular season. Three runs, nine hits and one error. No runs, four hits and no errors. Stripling gets the win. He has won 12 games and lost two. Stafford the loss, five and three. Yeah, with that win, now he ties uh, Taylor Youngman of the Longhorns with 12 wins in the Big 12. So they're both leaders of the Big 12 with wins are here tonight. An impressive game. There was no scoring at all to the top of the ninth. Let's take a look at the updated standings. And as you see at the top, they are co-champs. Texas run off, knowing how important that run is early in a game like that. Connor has 34 runs batted in. Give him another one. That's going to drop into right field for extra bases. The run scores. Naquin running into second base. Peyton's throw won't be in time. It's a stand-up double and RBI for Tyler Naquin. We talked about him in the open, Greg. He led the nation last year in hits, and he's just continued he, right now with one out if that run is going on contact. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Doesn't matter. He's going to score on this, even though it's caught. The throw will come to the plate. Just off to the right side, and scoring is Naquin with a second run on the sacrifice. We'll call it a fly, but it really was a line drive. He around the butt. And Jason, two one pitch. Fisted it, but that's going to be tough. That's going to drop in for a hit, and the RBI is Houses. Reynolds scores, and it's 3 0 AM. Yeah, he tried to come back inside with that fastball. Scoring much this year in 62 and two thirds innings, only 17 walks yeah. coming into this game. There's a line shot, base hit past the dive of Etier. One run scores. Here comes the second run. And the Aggies have boosted their lead to 5-0. Well, the Aggies took advantage of that error. Just open for the ballpark. There's a long drive. Way back to left field. And Troy Stein bangs it off apparently the top of the wall. One run will score. Here comes the pinch runner to the plate, Wood. And Stein just missed a home run. He gets a stand-up double. Right below the yellow home run. Walsh is 0 for 3. He's bounced out, popped out twice, and hit the ball to the first baseman unassisted. It's 0 for 4. Chopper, right side, coming in for it is Arthur. The underhand flip the house, and this game belongs to the Aggies. Barely. Texas sends 10 men to the plate in the ninth. They score five, but they leave two. NFL uh, with the Bengals, Patriots, and Packers. There's a bouncing ball off the pitcher's glove. French will go over and pick it up, and it's wide, and a run's going to score on a yet another Texas error. Unbelievable. Yeah, young pitcher like that, you know, you, you get the ball right back. You can't really go by the catcher's glove on breaking balls. They're stealing home. He got there, now if they get the third out, it won't make any difference. The run will still score, but they don't get the third out. This is not, not Texas baseball. Well, you know, uh, Augie's just fuming in the dugout there. This is fundamental baseball right here. <laughs> Alleman drives the ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Here comes a run. Here comes the second run. The throw to the plate will be cut off, and there are the two runs the Yankees wanted. And their lead now goes to eight to three. A clutch two-run base hit by Blake Alamont. Yeah. <laughs> That's line to right field. It's gonna be a tough play for Peyton. He can't get to it. One run scores. That's the ninth run. Here comes the tenth run. It's a two-run single by Scott Arthur. Nice piece of hitting by Scott. Just kept going the other way with it. You thought at some point, you think Silver would be playing behind him with the lefty up right now. 
Fly ball, center field going back for his Maitland, still going back, still going back, still there, and it's out of here. Over and out of here. Got it up in the wind, and Tyler Naquin with a two-run homer. He fell behind him. We got it to a 3-2 count, but he really didn't have a pitch to put him away with, and boy, that's how you hit close to 400. He's a big 12. Oh, yeah. For comfort. If you want to sit out in the sun, that's, you got that option. High fly ball. Short left. And just getting to it is Brotson to wrap up the ball game. This one's got Aggies written all over it as they clinch the series. Baylor clinches no less than a tie for the Big 12 regular season championship. And the Aggies also take the baseball portion of the Lone Star Showdown. Jack, final thoughts on this? Got Hunter Melton down. That's chopped. It's trying to get through. Won't do it, but they threw the ball away. Second error of the inning by the Longhorns. Two runs are home. Moss and Chorby score. White got all the way around. The up. He's hit that well to right. This is where he hit a home run on Sunday. Has he done it again on Tuesday? Yes, sir. Joel Davis, home runs in back-to-back -back games. That's going to keep him coming to the lineup. And he got that lineup, got in there at the time before, and just absolutely crushed that ball and hit it down the ballpark. He tried to be modest and say the wind aided his Sunday <laughs> home run. He's just hit the ball well for two straight yeah, games. That, that, how many innings or how, how many pitches he threw? He whoa, is tagged whoa. this deep to left. Olsen Magic there doesn't it live on in the Ray and Nighting of the rivalry. Michael Barish, one swing of the bat, one wave of the wand, and the Magic comes down. What a way to finish the Longhorns' first trip to College Station since 2012. The Aggies go from stunned to elated. And the Longhorns, after that epic comeback in the ninth, fall with a swing of the bat from Michael Barish. Only fitting, Coach, that this would end with a dose of Olsen magic. Well, now this is what you don't want. There's some joying, I believe, going on down on the field. They're trying to get everybody out of there. I think they will. Just a little brush up, and I don't think it's too serious. No, the, the Aggie. Ground ball back up the middle, gets through. One run will score, and two will score. The Aggies take a 2 nothing lead. Ball gets away, but we got more action here. Sloppy play, that moves Frizzell up to second. Here's the bubbles. In. Here's a ground ball back up the middle. That will get through. One run scores. Here comes another one. Four to nothing Aggies. Just like that, this game has exploded in the face of the Longhorns. Yeah, two ground balls as the bubbles continue to fly. It and he hung a curveball. Lined into left field. Hellman scores. Foster rounding third. He scores. Six to three Aggies. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Got a piece of it back up the middle. He gloves it and throws to first. And Olsen Field is going insane. Aggies get out of another jam. Grounded over to third base. And Texas A&M will hoist the Lone Star flag tonight.
Well, Texas happened to have a one to nothing lead. As the first pitch to Dukoff ties it with his second home run of the season. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs> Well, it does a lot to boost both the RPIs, the, the ratings percentage index that college baseball uses. That ball smoked. Back deep to left and gone. Number two for Honer. David Pierce says it's just a matter of time before it really starts to click for some of these guys. Roped out to center field and headed home is Foster and it's a four run Aggie second. Line base hit to left field. Blom is home and it's five to one. Heading into second. Shoemake with his second hit of the night. Yeah, the Horns get the run in the bottom of the first inning and had that lead all of about two and a half minutes. And that one will fall for a base hit and get past Eric Kennedy headed to the wall. Blake is home, followed by Shoemake all the way to third is Dukov. Shot right at Hunter Watson at first, the tag down at second base to get Zubia. Wow. Shot up the middle, base hit. Honer is home. Corbett behind him, and it's 9-6. to six. What a battle. Shot right back to Cowlick. Dug out by Walters, and the Aggies win it 9-6. In front of a record regular season crowd of nearly 8,000 at Dish Fog Field. Ball. They come back in the fall, and wow, this one's launched to left by Britt. Gone. Mm. Hit it right into the middle of the party. No, I don't think that was horns down. I think we're still too early in the party. And Honer drives it deep to left field. Gone in a hurry. You know, they say light pole power. That one bounced off of the light pole. Bubbles all around. Got him. 0 for 10 tonight. And that'll continue. Now 0 for 11. Back to back cage for Joe's Walk and the Longhorns down to their last out. The call goes which way? Breaking ball pounded up the middle. Coleman is there. Texas AM with a shutout. Joe's Walk goes horns down. And the Aggies will celebrate a win against their rival. The payoff. There goes the runner. Ripped on the ground, down into the corner. Kennedy over to cut it off. They're going to send him. Baltini's relay to the plate. Not in time. One nothing. Texas A&M. The 0-2. There goes the runner. This ball hit pretty well to right. It's down for a base hit. And Rock will score easily. Two nothing. Texas A&M jumps out in front. Not running. This ball hit pretty well to left. Got up into the breeze. Back to the wall. This ball's gone. <laughs> off of the end of the bat, but got some carry out to the wall. This ball's gone.
The 0-2 fastball ripped into right. Into score is Kaler. Big turnaround third by Rock. And Texas now trails 9-6. to six. The 1-2. To right. Getting pushed down. Can he get there? Diving catch for the out. 1-0. Five for five night. This is going to get down into the corner. Gets away from Kennedy. And here comes Moss on his way to third. Can he get a triple for the cycle? He's in third base. I think it's a cycle. This ball hit well to left. With some carry. Two-run homer. And Texas A&M has broken this thing open. The 3-2 again. In there, strike three called. And the Aggies have won the game. First win over a top-ranked team in Austin since 2009. And Texas A&M comes to town and comes away with a 12-9 victory. Texas and Texas A&M, and it is win or go home in this elimination game. Actually, could be available today. Line drive to the left field toward the corner. Kennedy chases. It's off the top of the wall. Targot scores, and the Aggies are on the board here in the second. Three, two again. In the air, left field, falling fast in front of Kennedy. Clock scores, and this game is tied. Seven foul balls in this A-B. Another 3-2. On the line to left field, that's a base hit. Minnick and Thompson score, and Trevor Warner wins the battle. Maybe the best at bat I have seen here at the College World Series. It's got to be a little bit of a draw. On the ground sharply. Taylor stabs, goes to second. In time. Boy, that's a big time play from Paul Taylor. 2-2 to Moss. Pulled right field, base hit. And the Aggies add on. Two strikes, two outs. Jack Moss comes through. It is just below the zone. One, two. Oh, Strike three called with a fastball. Wow. Melendez does not like it. Polish with a heater to leave him loaded in the sixth. Well, Jacob polishes off the side, punches out the side, comes in relief, and does what he ought. Two, two home. Struck him out. Got him with the breaking ball. Texas, Long Beach State. For the Longhorns. And he skies this one to left. Rock retreats. Aggies win. Texas AM fights off elimination. Takes down Texas and stays alive. And in the process ends the season of Ivan Melendez and the Longhorns. Michael Dallas and company with some.